Welcome to the introductory video for this series on adding beads to crochet. The technique videos in this series all start with a demonstration of the technique, followed by an in-depth discussion of the pros and cons of that particular technique. This video is more of an index. You'll see all seven techniques on the sampler and you can see what results you get in terms of bead orientation, is the fabric reversible, that sort of thing. And then you can decide which videos you want to watch. The beads are color coded to the videos to make it easier to find the video you want. On my sampler, I have worked all the beads from this side of the work. This is the right side of my work. And I have worked a plain row in between. So for example, right here, this is a row of single crochet with beads. And then coming back is a plain row of single crochet. Then I've worked double crochet with beads. And then a row of plain double crochet. So there is a spacer row between every row of beads on my sampler. So let's get started. The first two techniques, techniques one and two, are based on pre-stringing beads. And since they have a commonality, I have used light red and red beads. When you pre-string the beads, you end up with a single strand of yarn holding the beads in place. Technique one, I slid the bead into place in between working the stitches. This is single crochet, this is double crochet. As you can see, for me at least, the single crochet wants to stay on the wrong side of the work. I end up with a horizontal orientation to the bead, at least in double crochet. When I turn the work over, you'll see in single crochet, it's more angled. It's not quite vertical and it's not quite horizontal. The single crochet does not seem to be reversible, but the double crochet is pretty good. The double crochet seems to be reversible. So that's technique one. Technique two, at least when I do it, the beads quite decidedly go to the other side of the work. So technique two is not reversible. Here it is in single crochet. It is mostly vertical in terms of bead orientation. In double crochet, you have three options. So this is option one, which is low on the post and to the left. Option two is also low on the post, but to the right. And then option three is high on the post and to the right. When I work options two and three on the same double crochet, I have two beads, but they don't quite line up. They're close, but not quite. And of course, this technique is not reversible. So that's techniques one and two, where beads are pre-strung. I've worked techniques three and four four in light blue and dark blue because they have a commonality. In this case, these two techniques are worked with loose beads. You use a hook to pull a loop through the loose bead. This gives you two strands of yarn through the bead, so these feel a little bit more secure because they have a little more yarn through them. Once again, the light version of the technique is adding the beads in between stitches. Again, I have single crochet and double crochet. Again, the beads are fairly horizontal in their orientation, a little bit angled in the single crochet, maybe just a smidge angled in the double crochet, but pretty good. When I flip it over, it does seem to be reversible. I see the beads on both sides. So that's technique three. Technique four, I'm adding a loose bead, but in the middle of making a stitch. This is the single crochet, and 
Again, it's, it's somewhat vertical in orientation, but it, it's angled a little bit. I have three options in double crochet. Option one ends up being very horizontal in orientation. Option two ends up being low on the post and to the left and option three ends up being high on the post and it's a little bit angled and that's even more noticeable when you try to work options two and three on the same double crochet. They, they don't quite line up because that, that top bead wants to angle. When I turn technique four over, it is not really reversible. There's lots of little loopy bits on the back. With the exception of double crochet option one. That's reversible. So that was techniques three and four, which involve adding a loose bead by pulling a loop through it. Techniques five and six, I've worked in light yellow or cream and yellow because they share a commonality they are done with a hybrid method. This method is an invention. I have not seen it anywhere in the literature. I like to think somebody somewhere has done it this way. And in this case, I've pre-strung the beads, but I also pulled a loop through the bead as if I were adding a loose bead. You end up with three strands of yarn through the middle of the bead. So these beads are definitely not going anywhere. They are quite secure. Once again, the lighter version is adding the beads in between stitches. So once again, this is single crochet and then double crochet. In both cases, the bead is fairly horizontal in orientation. I should add, I did not work a chain stitch in between these double crochets. The beads are pushing the double crochets apart. So that spacing I'm getting is just because of the beads. I do have a little bit of loopiness here on the front in the single crochet. When I flip it over, it is reversible. In fact, I think the single crochet even looks maybe a smidge better on the back than it does on the front. So that's the fifth technique. The sixth technique then is the hybrid technique worked in the middle of making a stitch. Here it's worked in the middle of making a single crochet and again it is it is vertical but slightly angled. We've seen that before in some other techniques. In double crochet I only have two options in this hybrid method instead of three. The first option gives me low on the post and a vertical orientation to the bead. The second option is high on the post and angled. And the single crochet and that second option seem to match up. When I do both options on one stitch, they don't quite line up. I've got a bit of an angle up here. But when I turn the work over, Technique six does seem to be reversible. There are some little loopy bits, but they come off as kind of decorative because they, they fall in between the beads. So I think I'm gonna call technique six reversible. And finally, technique seven. This is another invention. It is a very unorthodox technique. For this technique, you pull a loop down through the bead you work most of the stitch and then you pull the loop back up through the bead and finish the stitch. But here's what you get for all that work. Here's the single crochet. Here is the double crochet. The beads are very much vertical in orientation. They're not cocked one way or the other. They're not angled and I don't get any weird loopy bits. When I do two beads on one double crochet, they line up very nicely. And when I turn the work over, it is reversible. So this is a slow and fiddly technique, but it gives you a really good result. Maybe worth the time, maybe not. 
because a lot of people like to work loopy edges where you chain a bunch, I wanted to show you what your options are for that. So this is chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, and chain five, single crochet. Here's option one, where the beads are pre-strung. It's a little bit delicate. This is technique three, where the, the beads are loose and you pull a loop through. It's a little sturdier. And then this is the hybrid technique. This is technique five, and you hardly see the yarn all of the yarn runs through the middle of the beads. And when I flip it over, you see all three techniques are very similar from the front or the back. The last thing I didn't add to the sampler because I wasn't quite sure how to incorporate it is if you wanted beads on the final chain across the top of a project, so just across like the top edge, the last row, if you wanted a beaded edge. If you want to do that, then you probably want to look at technique five, because you see the bead is on the chain, or technique three, because that one also gives you a bead on a chain. So there you are. Lots to explore. I hope this series will help you design with beads in crochet and add beads successfully to your crochet projects, help you get the results you want when you have an idea. Enjoy the series and happy crochet!